solve one gate question related to stacks it's a general stack problem okay so stack is given of size n greater than or equal to 1 and lot of information is given we try to understand this information line by line first of all there is a stack okay size is what greater than or equal to 1 that means it, it, it that contains at least one element so starting with the empty stack initially you have empty stack okay then suppose we push the first n natural numbers in such stack you are going to push first n natural numbers okay then after that what you do in sequence example let's say first three natural numbers if you want to push in sequence how to push one two three that is what he said you see we push first n natural numbers in sequence after that then perform n pop operations so what i can understand from uh, this point is so he is going to push some n integers into stack after that he is going to pop them that is what going to happen in entire story okay fine so we understand up to this point now assume that push and pop operation take x seconds each that means imagine this as a real time machine okay stack is a machine for you now so when you you are really pushing objects into that machine physical machine so obviously they take some time so push operation takes example if you push one then it takes x seconds okay now if you push if you pop that element one again it takes x seconds so that is what he said push and pop operations take x seconds each now y seconds elapse between the end of see y seconds elapse between the end of one such stack operation and the start of the next operation that means between two stack operations right so there is a delay so since it's a machine so when you push some element example one after that to push one more element two we should stop for some time there is a delay okay then maybe that machine has to get stabilized then that delay is given as y it is there between any two stack operations you see y seconds elapse between end of one such stack operation maybe push or pop and start of the next operation between every two operations there is a delay okay that is y fine then what he has defined you see for m greater than or equal to 1 we will see what is m define the stack life of m so he is defining stack life for what some integers stack life of 1 stack life of 2 what is m m is anything greater than or equal to 1 so probably he is defining stack life for our uh, elements which are pushed that's why you know who are going to stay in your stack the elements which are going to be pushed then generally they will have lifetime correct that's why i can understand that so this m he is talking about lifetime he is about elements lifetime how is it is defined we'll see stack life of an element m as the time elapsed from end of push m see that's why it is about element end of push of m to the start of the pop operation that removes m from s okay example let's say you are pushing two numbers one comma two according to the story how to push them so the story says that push one then wait push two then wait after that pop two then wait then pop one correct we know that recent element will be popped so if you do this operations for two elements this is going to happen then he is defining lifetime what is lifetime of let's say element one let's read this lifetime with one life of m one as the time elapsed from end of push one let's read it with one end of push one where where is the end of the push one this one to start of the pop operation that removes it which removes that one here right start of the pop operation this is pop operation correct here so start of the pop operation which removes it we are popping here we are pushing it so end of the push to start of the pop okay then what is the time elapsed we'll see example in this question this is delay right y this is pushing time x this is delay y this is popping time x this is delay right y after that immediately we pop one so up to that point only we have to calculate because he said start of the pop operation start of the pop operation is here then what is the answer y plus y plus y plus 3 y plus 2 x right so this is the stack life of 1 correct so similarly what is the stack life of 2 read stack life of 2 end of the push operation what is end of the push operation this one right end of the push operation we push 2 here 
and we pop to here what is the start of the pop immediately right we pushed it immediately we popped it since it is recent element then how much delay we have in between only y that is the only time so 2 was happy living in the stack so i can say that the lifetime of uh, element 2 is only y okay so finally we calculated lifetime of 1 l of 1 which is 3y plus 2x lifetime of 2 which is nothing but just y now the question is what we have to identify the average stack life of an element of the stack average lifetime of the element we have to find out example there is a village in that village there are two people raju rani raju says 60 rani says 40 then what is the average lifetime of that village 60 plus 40 by 2 similarly what is the average life of stack see average stack life of an element of the stack so if you want to find out average stack life of an element then we have to calculate everyone's lifetime and we have to divide by total number of such elements correct so here at this moment then what is the average lifetime one's lifetime is 3y plus 2x plus 2's lifetime is y then if you find out the average you have to divide by 2 we know that then simple aptitude 3y plus y 4y 4y plus 2x by 2 if you do it then it, you will get 2y plus x isn't it then answer is 2y plus x when n value 2 then we have good news this question is asked for anything n greater than or equal to 1 then we can substitute n value 2 let me substitute n value 2 and find out what is the answer when n value 2 this option says that 2x plus 2y is it our lifetime average lifetime no 2y plus x this is absolutely wrong because it is 3y plus 2x let's substitute n value 2 here 2x plus 2y minus x so that will be 2x minus x x plus 2y yes x plus 2y perfect so option c is matching so option c is the right choice so by you know substitution technique we solved it done over so in the gate exam we have to solve this kind of questions in two minutes then we have to go with the examples rather than you know rigorous proof i will explain you rigorous proof also but in the gate exam don't do that because we have two minutes of time strictly speaking what you do is take only n value one why to solve this problem for two variables like two elements do for one element okay so i show how to do for one element let's take n value one and we try that when we solve this problem for n value 1 there is only one element one element is pushed that is what the question let's say one element is pushed then after that what we do we wait for some time and we pop it correct we have only one element this is a story then when there is only one element what is the lifetime of one end of the stack operation which pushes it to the start of the pop operation which pops it then just y correct then lifetime of one is y there is no other element to be pushed and popped then what is the average when there is only one person in the village what is the average of that village that person's age right similarly what is the lifetime of one y then average also will become only y because there is only one element then let's substitute n value one i should get y this is x plus y absolutely wrong this is 3y plus 2x absolutely wrong this is x plus y minus x y correct then y plus 2x wrong in that way to solve this question only you should do you should need to understand the question that's it and answering is very easy by substitution right so we'll see how to do this one in a general way okay how to solve this problem for n elements let me take some you know four elements then we are pushing one two three four after that we are popping one four three two one right so though i am showing for four elements assume that let's say this is the picture for n elements okay rather than four you assume that there are n elements then so i would like to i mean share some you know parameters here what is this one this is what y correct so i can say that this y because of pushing of element one okay similarly this is because of pushing element two right one more y so this y is because of pushing three similarly what is this y this y is because of popping 2 after popping 2 we should wait for some time that's why it is y so in that way so this y is for popping 3 this for popping 4 in that way okay this is for pushing 4 so apart from that what is this one so this is stack operation time right x pushing or popping that's why they are all x now one observation is the lifetime of element 1 is nothing but according to the definition is from the end of the push to start of the pop that pops it this is the start of the pop not here here right here 
so this is the start of the pop one this is the end of the push one so between push one and pop one all other elements are pushed and popped then how many elements are pushed n minus 1 correct then each one takes x time i am talking about lifetime of element 1 so n minus 1 x units of time it takes plus since every element whatever pushed if they should be popped before 1 then n minus 1 y sorry n minus 1 x again this x for push this x for pop so n minus 1 elements are pushed and popped that's why n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 x plus anything else so all these white color boxes are done now anything else yes that anything uh, that something is this one like this boxes what are they delays because of the stack operations i mean after stack operation after stack operation what is the delay we are causing you see forget about this one first you start here this is because of the push 2 this is because of the push 3 then each element is pushed once then there are n minus 1 elements pushed each one causes one delay correct that's why there are n minus 1 delays to pushing them after immediately push there is a delay for 3 there is a delay for 4 there is a delay what is the delay value y plus still since while popping them also we are causing some delay correct example while popping 4 after popping 4 there is a delay so how many such delays will be there n minus 1 into y understand so finally i can say that so that all that remaining elements will have n minus 1 they are n minus 1 they are pushed n minus 1 x for popping n minus 1 x for you know delay for waiting after pushing is n minus 1 y delay of for waiting after pop is n minus 1 y so apart from that there is one more small thing that is this one what is this one this is part of i mean this is delay because of the element one which we are talking about right so we are calculating the lifetime of first element for that so there is one more delay what is that it is because of push one but there is no delay for pop one because we are what is the lifetime of an element it is the time period between uh, from end of the push to start of the pop so after pop there is a delay for you know element one for popping but we are not considering it correct because the points are like that then so there is one more why this is for delay of element one after push operation okay so this entire thing is lifetime of element one now you can observe the formula what is that formula 2 into n minus 1 x isn't it plus 2 into n minus 1 y plus one more y let's remember like that so if i take 2 into n minus 1 common then it will be 2 into n minus 1 common then x plus y plus one more y this y significance is element one's delay so this 2 into n minus 1 there are n minus 1 elements they are causing two times delay because while pushing and popping exactly x plus y understand so just remember this in mind now what we do is we calculate the lifetime of element 2 let's say element 2 so we we are pushing all other elements which are n minus 2 right so we are pushing n minus 2 elements the delay is n minus 2 x after that we are popping then how many elements we are popping exactly n minus 2 again the delay is x plus this delay after every push and after every pop since n minus 2 elements are pushed then they cause n minus 2 times delay right n minus 2 delays which are y after pushings since you are popping them while popping them again they cause delay y n minus 2 y right plus one extra delay that is this one you see this is because of pushing 2 that is also part of the lifetime of element 2 understand then if you see the similarity so this is 2 into n minus 1 into x plus y see this one formula 2 into n minus 1 into x plus y plus y this is 2 into n minus 2x plus n minus 2x let me simplify it will become 2 into n minus 2x plus 2 into n minus 2y same plus y right if i take 2 into n minus 2 common then this will become x plus y plus y so what i realized is there is a simple formula for every element's lifetime what is that for element number one lifetime is 2 into n minus 1 into x plus y plus y plus y is compulsory right this one now what is the delay of uh, lifetime of element 2 2 into see 2 into n minus 2 like 2 into n minus 1 here it is 2 into n minus 2 into x plus y x plus y plus y now i realized what's the formula right let me write the formula now element number one what was that 2 into n minus 1 into x plus y 
plus y isn't it for element 2 so for element 2 it is 2 into n minus 2 into x plus y plus y only this variable n is changing right here it is n minus 1 it is n minus 2 then for element 3 it will be 2 into n minus 3 into x plus y plus y so on for element n let us generalize it for first element 2 into n minus 1 for last element it will be 2 into n minus n okay plus into x plus y plus y so here n minus n is 0 0 into anything is 0 0 plus y is y so if you see that then 2 into n minus 1 x plus y 2 into n minus 2 x plus y we have to sum it up right so i want to calculate average lifetime average lifetime of an element equal to we have to sum all the lifetimes after that we have to divide by n let me sum first okay sum of the lives sum of the lifetimes equal to this 2 into n minus 1 into x plus y okay let me take this component first plus 2 into n minus 2 into x plus y plus 2 into n minus 3 into x plus y so on 2 into n minus n into x plus y plus remaining this component y plus y plus y plus for every element there is a y then the number of y's are n right n into y let us simplify again so here x plus y common 2 is common let me take 2 into x plus y common if i take 2 into x plus y common here in this component then what is remaining thing it will be first time n minus 1 plus second time n minus 2 plus so on last one is n minus n c that means 0 right before 0 it is 1 in that way plus n into y if i simplify it it will become 2 into x plus y so this is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1 you remember one thing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n minus 1 equal to sum of n minus 1 natural numbers that is equal to n minus 1 into n by 2 okay then let me replace it it is n into n minus 1 by 2 right plus n into y remaining thing correct if i simplify it see 2 and 2 gets cancelled then you get x plus y into n into n minus 1 plus n into y let us keep as it is so this one okay now the question is what average lifetime what is the formula for average lifetime average lifetime is nothing but sum of the lifetimes by total number of elements what is sum of the lifetimes x plus y into n into n minus 1 plus n y correct by overall the total number of elements n if i do that what happens is so here i can take n common in this and this right let me take n common if i take n common it will be x plus y into n minus 1 plus y by n so n n gets cancelled the remaining thing is n minus 1 into x plus y plus y let us simplify it if you simplify it you get n into x plus n into y minus x minus y plus y okay then y y gets cancelled now we will see one more gate question so an array is given which is a of 1 to max size that means index starts at 1 so let me show that here this one okay now is used to implement two stacks so index